made belongings before I go to the beach tomorrow morning with some of my friends. I finally went book shopping yesterday. I've been missing going to the bookstore so much and McNally Jackson just opened back up and we drove over there and went to Williamsburg yesterday and I picked up a couple things. Maybe I'll show you guys later in the video, but I'm bringing this. And with it being so hot, I have just been loving little dresses like this. My sunburn is finally healing. I got really sunburned last weekend at the beach and it was the kind of sunburn where I was just so itchy um, but like when I scratched myself it made it so much worse. <laughs> finally healed so hopefully I don't do that again tomorrow. I'm also working with free people in this video so here in a bit I'm going to show you some recent pieces that I have from them. I made some hummus to pack. And then I also did some berries, bananas, and this really good maple granola. And then some other stuff also for dinner tonight. And I'll probably make like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for tomorrow. I've been doing that. And I go hiking and I feel like a little kid, but it's really good. Now I'm going to share with you guys all of the free people pieces that I got. I'm really excited because I was definitely lacking in the summer clothes department and it's been so so hot here as i'm sure you'll hear me say a lot in this video but i'm really excited about these new pieces in my wardrobe i will have them all linked down below so you guys can shop as well if you're interested thank you to free people for partnering with me on this video one of the first pieces i got is this black cotton dress i think it's gonna look so great with just like a bucket hat like what i'm wearing now and some sandals i can definitely be dressed up or dressed down but with things starting to open back up in the city, it's a nice piece to throw on just for a really easy outfit, but you still look really put together and you're also cool. Next, I have a pair of pants. I actually got these in two colors and I'm so glad that I did because they're the perfect summer pant. All of my pants that I own for the most part are like heavy denim or even they have wool in them and I just can't wear pants in the summer. But these are super lightweight and breathable. They're a low rise, casual, relaxed fit. And I actually don't own any white pants and I feel like this is the perfect pair. And I got this black scoop neck ribbed tank top. Again, a super breathable material and I really love the cut of this. I find that I can actually go braless with it, which is a bonus for me because I don't find that I can do that with most tank tops. This is a piece that I'm so stoked about, but I can't even think about wearing it right now. Everything else I got is quite summery. I just needed to get this. I've been wanting a vegan leather moto jacket for so long and Free People has the perfect one. A great price point. It also has a hoodie on the inside. This is incredible. If you're looking for a similar fit to me, I got a size large, so it's a bit oversized. I got a few more black dresses, a couple from their Intimates line some nicer pieces to wear around my house since i've been spending so much time at home this one though i think that i would actually wear out especially if i layered a bit and it's this black v-neck midi dress but also so glamorous for just lounging around and then i also got this mini silk slip dress with this really beautiful tie back detailing and i got this textured oversized button-up i've been wearing this as a cover-up when i go to the beach and it's really lovely. I feel like I could also wear it as a dress, especially if you're a bit shorter, you could wear it as a dress. I'm like 5'9 or 5'10, so it's kind of pushing it, but just have some little shorts on underneath and then you'd be safe if it got super windy outside. But I always love fabrics like this, and I feel like this is a piece that I'll actually wear all year round. And one of the last dresses I got is this mesh strapless dress. It's so flattering on, and I love a maxi dress or a mini dress so much. But something that's really great about this is that the length is adjustable and it just hugs your body in all the right places, but you can still like ruch it up around your stomach if that's an area you don't want to show so much. And then lastly are the same pants I showed you before, but in a different color. And I've already worn these a few times. I've been a little scared to wear the white ones because I tend to spill stuff on myself. And you know, New York City is kind of dirty, so you need the proper occasion. And this green pair is great. I love the way these hang off your hips. Feels very 90s in the early 2000s in a really great way. So I'm going to have links to all of those pieces down below if you guys are interested to shop. And thank you again to Free People for partnering with me on this video.
society things. Okay, go on then. Uh, well, um, we, we talk a lot about... Uh, nope, nope, nothing. Oh, past me, yeah, past me. I finally changed into some real clothes today. It is so hot outside, it's literally 100 degrees. Um, and I'm so happy I finally got one AC unit in my apartment, in my office. How lovely it would be to have central AC. That's okay though. But I've just been working in here pretty much all day, packing up some orders, communicating with manufacturers, kind of the normal stuff. I wanted to ask you guys though, if you have any suggestions for hair salons in New York where I could possibly get an appointment right now, the places that I normally go are so booked up and I haven't had a haircut in over a year and I really need one in my hair. I feel like you can't fully tell, but it just gets really poofy at the end because there's so much weight. The last time I cut my hair, it was like above my chin, so it's grown quite a lot. And I've just been using Root Touch-Up Spray in my hair and I really need to get it professionally dyed as well because I'm trying to stop using box dye. So if you guys have any hair salon suggestions for me, ones that aren't outrageously expensive, I don't really want to spend more than $100 on a haircut, which is kind of hard to come by. I would love to hear from you in the comments or in a DM on Instagram or however you want to reach me. But yeah, it's been a good Monday so far. Uh, work is like starting to pick back up, which is great, but also like a lot of work comes from LA and they're sort of slowing down again, so <sighs> just fingers crossed that America can get it together, basically. I had like my first outdoor dining experience in the city at one of my favorite local restaurants last week, which was lovely, but I'm definitely still staying home most of the time. This feels better that way and I'm kind of in the habit of it anyways. But I've definitely started doing some outdoor activities like going to the beach because New York City beaches are open. And then I've obviously been going hiking a lot. I'm going camping in the Catskills this weekend which I'm really excited about. So it's just been a nice outdoorsy summer. New York seems to have it pretty together at least in comparison to the rest of the country. I get like an alert daily about how many cases are in the city and it's been under a hundred a day lately which is insane because it used to be so much more in the height of it so i'm hoping we can keep it together although it seems like there will still be no traveling anytime soon So I know I was just talking to you guys and asking for hair salon recommendations, but I actually was able to get in next day at a place that I found that's this vegan salon in downtown Brooklyn. And I feel like they did a good job. It was a little expensive. I got color like roots to ends, obviously, because my hair really needed it. And also a cut because my hair hadn't been cut in about a year. And it ended up being like $350 with tip, which is more I think than I've ever paid to get my hair done but I'm so glad that I got it done and I would totally recommend that place it's like a holistic hair salon and everything's vegan and all of the workers were super nice it was a very clean organized environment which I appreciated it kind of took up my entire day because I walked there which took about an hour and then I walked back which took another hour and I was there for almost three hours so throughout my day but on my walk back I stopped at Sephora I didn't even realize there was a Sephora in downtown Brooklyn but I haven't been wearing any face makeup since summer basically and I started getting more tan because I don't have any makeup that matches my skin tone so I went in Sephora which was a very odd experience I must say I'm not sure what it's like in other places but at least in New York when you go in you stand with an employee and they kind of like give you a speech about what you're allowed to do and whatnot um, you're not allowed to like touch anything basically they kind of have to help you so they like follow you around the store which Feels like a little hostile, but it's fine and I couldn't test this for my skin color So I'm just gonna hope that it works and I never even heard of this product and I just bought it But I used to wear Tarte foundations a lot 
and it's also a vegan product which i appreciate so this is a lighter coverage version of the foundation that i used to use by them which is the amazonian clay foundation this is the found concealer and it has spf in it which i like so i hope this works with my skin and then i also got a sponge really not vibing with the packaging but that's okay but now i'm just finishing up some work for the day in my office and then going to get veggie indian food with some friends later which is going to be so yummy so i hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog week in my life sort of style video and i will definitely see you guys again soon bye